Hey guys, today I want to show you how I made this working trigger. First of all, I want to show you what were my limitations. This is where the trigger should fit in. This is the slot from top and from the side. So, this is the grip, there should be a trigger, click, click, click. The original files had these two designs right here. This is the trigger, it's very slim, this is the design, but on the back side it has a small spring-like design. The issue with this is, the spring instantly broke off. With the first pulling of the trigger, this broke off in CPE and in PLA material. I couldn't even re uh, release the support material, it broke off instantly. And the files were missing the top piece where the slide mechanism actually works in. So, based off of this design, I start my own design. I made it a little bit bigger, so it can actually fit inside of the slot very smoothly and there's no hole. I had a top piece where the trigger would slide in and my first design was also kind of a spring mechanism. Issue with this is, it was way too stiff. My second iteration I made was more like a tilting mechanism with a spring on the back. Here is the slot where you can put it in. It should rotate around this axis right here and this should be compressed. It looks so super crappy because it was made too big and I had to cut off the back side. Same issue right here. It's way too stiff. You can't really feel any trigger movement. Then I went with another design. You have a top piece, you have a sliding piece and you have a back piece. Inside of these pieces are little circular slots where it can fit in a metal spring. You will soon see that this design has also its flaws. Even if there are three springs, one of the sides will also tilt, which hinders the smooth movement of the top part in the rail. Also, there was too much tolerance. Next up, I also changed the design again. It's a two-part piece again, but still the same issue. There is too much movement in the slot piece, and if I make it way smaller, I cannot move the part at all. So I abandoned the idea of a fully 3D printed, of a 3D printed and spring design to a guided design with a rail. Here you can see the mesh. I imported the handle and tried to fit in my trigger design. I measured the dimensions of caliper. Here you can see the two pieces. You can see the leftover of my initial design of the free piece design. What is kind of important is that I added draft angle right and left of the top piece to make it fit perfectly into the slot. Now let's go quickly to the assembly.
the assembled gun. I won't proceed further with painting and finishing the gun, as this was a beta test for me, if such a kind of trigger is actually working. The gun has some nice features, the working trigger, the moving handle and also a removable mag on the side. The link to the file of the original creator is in the description below. If you found this video interesting or helpful, be sure to leave me a like or a comment or a subscription to my channel. Also check out my Patreon and if you want, you can support me also on Patreon. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, have a nice day and goodbye.